Hey guys, what's up? You're here with Volcano. Uh, I didn't really know what to make a video about for the start of this week. So basically I'm just going to be showing a few photos of um, what my 2011 CRF 450 that I used in the Richmond Enduro this year. What it looked like when I first bought it to what it looks like now. So I'll just be popping up a few photos of that and um, I've got just a short little 5-6 second video of a walk around of it as well. And I'll be naming a few things that I have done to it and the things that I still want to do to it. But um, yeah, we'll get into that and here's the photos. But yeah, the things, I wrote out a list on my computer and all that of the things that I have done to it and the things that I still want to do to it. But the things I have done to it so far, I bought rear and front brake pads for it. Because the ones I'll, I had were getting really, really thin. I bought a, um, uh, what are they called, a funnel web filter. It's like this spiky um, air, air filter so it traps more dirt and dust and everything than what your regular air filters do so it's really good it's freaking massive bloody the first time i put it in there it was an absolute pain in the ass to get in but i've sort of got the knack to putting it in now so it's all good uh the next thing i got were radiator guards by unibiker they're like anodized red um they just bolt up around your um radiators and black bolt up to the frame so if you fall off and your black slams on one side or whatever on your radiators they're meant to like act as a brace so they don't twist or bend or anything so they've worked out pretty good so far i've had a few crashes and they've held up fine so if any of you that watch my videos ride bikes i yeah recommend recommend them because i had them on my old O2 WR426 as well, and yeah, they worked awesome. So, um, I bought new plastics for it as well because when I got it, it had black plastics on it and it made it look like a freaking 50 year old farm black. So, I put it back to the traditional red and white plastics. Um, and I got a Lucas Oil sticker kit for it because I've just all, yeah, I've always had a thing for the Lucas Oil Honda blacks, they just look awesome. So that's yeah why I got them. I um, got steg pegs as well because uh, my old man and my brothers they run steg pegs on their bike. Um, <clears throat> they sort of bolt up near your back wheel on the side mud guards a bit, sort of on the frame. They're a little bit different on each each bike, but yeah, that's where they bolt up on mine anyway. And they sort of help prevent arm pump and things like that. So when you're like going down a straight really fast or through sand or whatever instead of having to hold on more with your arms you sort of 
lean back with your legs onto them so you're putting more of your weight on the steg pegs instead of having to hold most of your weight up. Um, I also got hand guards as well. No particular reason why I got them, I just like the look of them really. Um, they're not the ones that protect your grip, your throttles or your um, bloody clutch and front brake lever and that. They sort of just, if you fall off and you land on them, they sort of just bend and snap and everything. So they're basically just for cosmetic looks really. Um, <clears throat> I did get blue radiator hoses to for bling basically, but I didn't like the look. Well, I did like the look of them, but they were the Y-shaped one instead of the ones that joined with the connector hoses, and they were getting squished up against everything and that, so I basically just pissed them off, put the regular ones back on, and I'm going to buy more later on down the track that go with the connector hoses. Um, I want to get a bling kit for it, a blue one, they're just like all your... Um, like your engine plugs and everything that screw into the engine, like oil, bloody, yeah, all that, all that crap just for looks as well. I want to get that, they make them in red and blue by RHK, I think, they're the main ones. So I want to get a blue one because that's, yeah, the colours of my bike at the moment, red, white and blue. Uh, I got blue bar ends, they're like a, um, anodized blue aluminium end that goes in the end of your bars to like protect them when you basically f drop your bike to one side really that's all they do I got new hand grips because the ones I had were rooted they'll fall apart sticky and all that uh, fork bleeders as well they screw into the, the top of your forks so when you basically tie your bike down to the back of the, the back of your ute or trailer or whatever they reckon it's bad to leave it for long periods of time because then you end up with leaking fork seals and that. So these, they've got like a little button on them, you just push them down and it releases the air that's like compressed in the forks at the time, which, yeah, helps it out a lot so there's not a lot of pressure build up in there, so that's basically what they're for. Um, and that's, yeah, basically all I've really done to it so far. There is a few other things I want to get to it, like I want to get a new set of tyres. Um, what else? Mud flap, because the mud flap I've got now, is bloody half of it snapped off from a rock, I think. I don't really know. I want to get the blue and white seat cover that the Lucas Oil Honda team use on their bikes because it looks awesome with the Lucas Oil sticker kit. Uh, and then there's just a, basically a few other cosmetic things that I want to get to make it look more flash really. Like your red chain slider and rollers, your red gear shifter and brake pedals, all of that sort of thing. But I will be booking it in for a... Um, a service soon so a full top end rebuild because it's just from what I've been told you're meant to get the CRF 450s 250s whatever rebuilt every say like 35 40 hours mine's got I'm close to 60 on it now so it's yeah well overdue so once I run into a bit of extra cash in my bank account it'll be getting thrown straight into the shop and getting that done so I'll basically be riding a new engine again it'll be awesome um, but that's yeah basically all I wanted to talk to you guys about today so stay tuned and I will see you at the end of the week